Hi, I'm Ken Rosenthal, and I'm a park naturalist at Gulf Branch Nature Center, which you can see behind me, and this is another five minute find. Now today I'm in a slightly different spot. Today I'm in our pond here at the Nature Center looking for some eight-legged beasties. This is Dolomites triton, the six-spotted fishing spider. Six-spotted fishing spiders like to hunt uh, along the water's edge. They will eat insects that get trapped in the water. They will eat water striders, which also feed on insects trapped at the water surface. Uh, and they can even dive seven inches under the water to get small aquatic insects, invertebrates, and even small fish. So they are a pretty neat predator. They can run across the water uh, if they feel threatened. They will also dive under the water and cling to aquatic vegetation. Here is fishing spider scooting across the water. And they will even hang out on the water for a little bit until they decide which direction they want to go in. Six-spotted fishing spiders are sexually dimorphic. That means the males and the females do look different. Uh, they look very similar in coloration, but they are different in size. Uh, and that is key for a lot of spiders. In most cases, the males are, are much smaller than the female, uh, which means mating uh, poses a significant threat for the males. Uh, in this case, um, there is a ritual that the uh, six-spotted fishing spider will do as the male approaches the female, but frequently his mating will end up with uh, the end of his life as he will be uh, cannibalized and eaten by the female. Uh, and if you're wondering what the female looks like, we're going to move over here and I will show you. She's hiding here. There we go. A female. See, she's also sitting on the edge of the water. Uh, with her legs there waiting to see if she can feel some prey. Uh, she is significantly larger than the spider, slightly different coloration, less spotting on the back. <clears throat> it is actually the spots on the ventral side, which can't be seen unless you're looking underneath, that has the six spots, uh, which is the namesake of the spider. Hopefully this will give you a good look at the color of the fishing spider. And if I pull back out a little bit, you can also see my hand. Uh, through the plastics so you can get an idea of the size of this. Um, again, this is the female, larger than the male. Um, the female fishing spider is actually a fairly decent mother, uh, especially when spiders are concerned. So she will produce an egg sac, which she will carry in um, uh, with her uh, fangs and her pedipalp. She'll, uh, the pedipalps are the two um, appendages you see in front of the four pairs of legs. Um, that they use for feeling and sensing. Uh, so she'll use that and the jaws to uh, hold that egg sac uh, and carry it with her until uh, eventually the egg sac gets ready to, to hatch. Once the eggs get ready to hatch, she'll actually move up into, I'm gonna move here a little bit, um, into the vegetation outside of the pond. As you can see we've got some uh, uh, lizard's tail here and we've got some jewel weed and she'll choose a spot in this vegetation to build uh, what's called a nursery web. Uh, fishing spiders belong to Pissaridae. I hope I said that correctly, and that's the family of nursery web spiders. And they get that name because they build a nursery web. Uh, and she'll attach the uh, egg sac to that nursery web, and then the young will hatch from there. And once uh, they're hatched in the web, she'll stick around for a little bit until they're ready to, to leave the nursery web and, and go about on their own. This is an exuvier from a fishing spider. An exuviae is a cast-off exoskeleton. In order for arthropods, the group that includes insects, crustaceans, centipedes, millipedes, uh, and all arachnids, uh, in order for these arthropods to grow, they need to shed their own exoskeleton and grow a new one. The exoskeleton will not grow with them like our skeletons grow with our body. And so, um, after they cast off the old exoskeleton, they have to take some time in a secluded place for their new exoskeleton to expand uh, and harden and gain its um, coloration. Uh, so this is an old exuvier from a fishing spider, which is pretty neat. I hope you enjoyed learning about these eight-legged wonders that inhabit our pond. Please join us next time for another five-minute find, and I hope you have a great day.